A strong, confident voice will completely change the way people react to you. It makes you a stronger leader, it helps with charisma, and it will also people will just simply respect your ideas more because you voice your opinion in a more confident way. Having a confident voice is one of the keys to making successful videos on YouTube. So today we're gonna to look at how to improve your vocals using simple techniques and exercises. G'day, my name's Marcus, I'm a video game and YouTube enthusiast, and this channel is all about helping you grow your gaming channel on YouTube. We post new videos every Saturday, so feel free to subscribe. Also, today I'm using a budget microphone. This is only $30, so I hope, just let me know how I sound compared to my other videos, testing out some budget gear, because hopefully we can do a video in the future um, on budget gear, that which will help you guys improve your audio, because I really believe audio is super, super, super important. Today we're gonna to go over how to make your voice sound good, how to have a good pitch, how to have a strong voice, and how to have an expressive or entertaining voice. So this is probably gonna be a quicker video. Before we get into this, I also wanna clarify that it does not matter what your voice naturally sounds like. No matter what your voice sounds like, I guarantee you, you can improve it with exercises and practice. At the end of the day, if you sound confident and authentic, it doesn't matter what kind of accent you have, how loud your voice is, how quiet your voice is, people will respect you. And on YouTube, we want people to respect you because when people respect you and enjoy your content, that's when they start subscribing. So first, let's talk about step one, which is pitch or tonality. Having good pitch is really, really important. You don't want to sound that really high nasally kind of voice, or you don't want to make the mistake a lot of guys do, which is where they talk in a really, really deep, manly voice that sounds really try-hardy. You want to sound natural, you want to sound authentic, and you want to sound confident. In my experience, one of the best ways to sound authentic and confident is just to be relaxed. You don't want to be speaking from the wrong part of your body. Relax your face, and a great way to do that is to yawn. Just simply, and that will relax your entire face. Now, another thing you can do also is just close your eyes for a minute. You can do it with me right now, and just focus on the tip of your tongue, and just relax it and drop it down and you'll notice the muscles in your face start to relax also. You also wanna make sure that your body itself, so you're not tensing your chest, you're not trying to tense your abs up. You wanna be relaxed, confident, at ease, and your voice will come out that way as well. Now step two is having a strong or confident voice. Now a lot of people confuse strong and confident with loud, and that's a very, very big difference. I'll give you an example. To think about a movie you watch, think about a really intense, or strong scene in that movie. Oftentimes, even though the actor is talking very quietly, almost in a whisper, that actor has intensity, that actor has confidence, and you can tell they are a strong person just by the strength in their voice. Now, there are two things you want to do to improve this. First is airflow. So try exhaling all of your air and try and talk. It doesn't work, you can't, you can't talk without air. It's a really weird experience. So if you do the opposite of that and you have lots of air, you're going to be able to talk better or more in a more full, strong, confident way than you usually could. So try square breathing, which is inhaling for four seconds, holding for four seconds, and then exhaling for four seconds, then waiting for four seconds, then inhaling for four seconds, exhaling for four seconds, waiting for four seconds, and etc. etc. You repeat it in a square, a four by four square. And do that before you record a video, you'll oxygenate your blood, you'll relax your body, and you'll start talking in a more strong, confident way. The second thing I like to do is to project my voice. If you put a microphone four feet away from you, and you try and project your voice as loudly as you can to that microphone, it's gonna come out as a yell. And yelling doesn't actually command a lot of authority, and people are gonna think you're really weird. Instead, try and lob your voice and try and lob it double the distance of the microphone. Try and lob your voice eight feet. And when you lob your voice, it's really weird because, but your mind and body are connected and your voice will come out sounding stronger, more confident, and yet you're not yelling. So finally, step three is having an expressive or entertaining voice. Nobody wants to listen to a video or a commentary or a voiceover that has a monotone, flat vibe to it. If I'm talking about something important and I'm just talking in the same tone the entire time with no ups and no downs, it's going to be really boring. Think about someone you know, an actor or someone you know in real life who's a great storyteller. And next time you hear them talking, listen to the way they use their voice. For the highs, they might go up and for the lows, they'll go down. They avoid speaking in a flat monotone. With videos on YouTube, you want to do the exact same thing. If you need to go up for the highs, don't strain your voice, but just go up higher where you need to go. And if you wanna go back down, just bring your voice back down nice and low. Think about it like taking your audience on a roller coaster. 
Now, the first few times you do this, it's gonna be really strange because your vocal cords are not going to be used to hitting those different ranges. So before you record a video, and even every day if you can, try this humming exercise. You wanna start really low, hum all the way up, and then hum back down. This is gonna warm up the entire range of your vocal cords and help you speak in those highs when you need to and those lows when you need to. Kind of like this. Sounds really weird, just like half the exercises on here. So those are the really, really simple things you can do to improve your vocal cords. It takes all of five minutes before you record a video, but I can guarantee you it really makes a big difference. No matter what your microphone quality, whether it's $20, $30 or $300, if you're not talking correctly, it's going to sound like rubbish. If you put garbage in, you're gonna get garbage out. This is one of the things that I first struggled with when I was starting. I could not speak at all. I spoke in a flat, dead monotone and I could barely string a sentence together. So I really hope this helped you out. If it did, feel free to subscribe because we've got new videos like this one coming out all the time. And send this video to a friend, another YouTuber who you feel like this video could help out. I'm sure they'd appreciate you thinking of them. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.